What's up, y'all? Here's part two finally. So I just downloaded the new Cricut Design Space. I've been using the web version and they're gonna be discontinuing that next month. So let's walk through this together and we can set up both our machines and this and then teach you guys how to do a cut. So this is gonna run you through all of the things. I have an Explore 2, so I'm gonna click on that. And here we go. So it already has all my projects because I, you know, I was using the, the web version. But to do this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to hit new project. And then from here, you're gonna hit upload. And then from here, you can basically just upload. Let's hit upload, let's hit browse. Here we go. We're gonna cut this file. This is the example that we did in the first video. We're gonna hit save. And then you basically just select this and you click insert. And there it is. It's gonna be in your pasteboard and it's great. And from here, there's something that is really important to know. And this is one thing that took me a while to figure out. So here I have this thing. If I wanna say two of them, I'm gonna hit duplicate. And one really critical thing is if you have a custom file that you've designed in Illustrator, and you've set it up so that it's gonna fit on your 11 and a half inch square frame. What you wanna do is hold shift, select both of them, and then way down on the bottom right, click attach. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep your design how you designed it. Um, instead of having the software itself reorganize everything, it can start to get weird. So I'm gonna undo that because I don't need two of these right now. We're just gonna cut one. So from here, you just hit up in the top right, you hit make it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna sort this onto your mat like this. And this looks fine, because we're just gonna do a quick test. And then from here, we're gonna hit continue. And the important thing here is on your machine, this dial, you want it to be set to custom. We're also gonna open the machine. So you want that dial to be set to custom so that you can go in here and you can set your material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit browse all materials, but if you go to material setting, you can scroll all the way down here and there's gonna be an add new material. So let's add a new material. You click on this, you're gonna click here. I'm gonna enable this 0.025 styrene because it's gonna be in between the two that I have and I'm gonna hit save. And when you do that, it's gonna bring up this, which gives you your name, your cut pressure, your multi-cut, and what blade you're using. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna max out my pressure. I'm gonna hit six cuts, and I'm gonna say deep point blade. And when you do that, you're gonna to have to reset your pressure. So, that's all you gotta worry about. Name it, what your cut pressure is. Oh, you gotta reset your multi-cut too. So set your blade type first, because that's going to reset everything if you don't. Cut how many cuts you want, and then the pressure you want, and hit save. So once you do that, you can go down here and hit done. And what it's going to do is, it's going to reset here. Oh, one more thing. Let me just do this, which is actually really important. So I just made one... And now I need to find out where it went, because my materials, here you go. If you go over here and hit star, what that's gonna do is it's always gonna show it. So that is something important to do. We're gonna be in here, we're gonna select it and hit done. So once you do that, your machine is ready to load. And all we need to do from here, put it down, I just gave it a quick roll. I use a piece of, what is it, one inch PVC pipe just to put a lot of pressure on there. This is obviously a sheet that I've already used once. Oh, you wanna pull your machine out so you got space behind it. And then from here, align it in between your two guides. You wanna be really careful here to make sure that your sheet is in really straight and really well. Because if it's not, if you're cutting something big, it'll start to skew down here and mess up your entire cut. So. You've got a button over here that's flashing. Let me just show you that really quick. So your flashing button, you hit that. It's gonna do this. And then the C button's gonna, gonna go. 
Can you hit that? And the machine is going to aim to align itself, and it's going to cut it. And then when it's all done, it's just going to stop, do one point, and then you're going to have this light flower over here flashing. So go over here, hit that, it's going to eject your sheet, and through there, you come back to your machine. And after a moment, it's going to come up with this. And basically, this will let you, if you wanted to, you could throw another sheet of styrene in and cut it again. But we're just going to hit finish. And then it's going to go back to your pasteboard, and then you can do another, you know, set it up for another cut, or you can be done. And that is honestly about it. All you need to do now is just peel off your plastic, peel off your shape, and in this case, as you can see, it's cut halfway through on this side. So all you have to do is just give it a little, little, little pressure, and it'll snap as it's basically scored it. There you go. There's your piece, and then you can just make as many of these as you want.